Today on Latest in Defence, I've been tasked with piloting a Typhoon fighter jet across North Wales in the Lake District. Well, not quite. We are in fact at the spectacular Science Museum in Kensington, while I'll be testing the new Typhoon 4 simulator in the museum's fly zone. The simulator is the latest addition to the Flight Gallery, which celebrates mankind's greatest achievements in powered flight. From Amy Johnson's Gypsy Moth to the biplane, the Torcock and Brown flew in the first non-stop crossing of the Atlantic. Alongside these are military pioneers, like the first Allied jet aircraft, the Gloucester Whittle E2829, and the first vertical takeoff prototype, the Hawker P1127 experimental aircraft. But it's the thrill of flying aboard the RAF's latest fighter jet that we're here to experience. Step inside the Typhoon 4 simulator and you feel as though you're in an actual jet. A Typhoon display pilot will take on a training mission through the breathtaking scenery of North Wales and the Lake District. Climbing to 40,000 feet, you'll see the curve of the earth. Then a Typhoon makes a rapid descent to skim lakes in Cumbria and weave through Welsh mountains and valleys. It joins a second Typhoon for formation flying, with the simulator moving to match every thrilling aerobatic manoeuvre before landing back at RAF Coningsby. That was quite a thrill and the closest I'll ever get to piloting a typhoon. The motion of the simulator perfectly matches the state-of-the-art visuals to make you feel as though you're really there. But it's not quite the same experience as a genuine typhoon pilot would undergo if he or she were training on a simulator. Operations manager Jonathan Gluck tells us more. We've got a, stat a wonderful static flight gallery with some iconic planes there, but I think families and kids in particular look up and say, what would it be like to, to fly one of these planes? What's it actually feel like when, you're, uh, when you've got the movement? So we try very hard to, to recreate within our simulators and within Typhoon Force the, the actual experience of flying one of these planes. We've had the pilots down here who actually say it is the Typhoon is so smooth whilst flying that we actually actually have to put extra motion into the simulator in order to enhance the experience. So what you get here is actually a sort of bumpy ride with a Typhoon as opposed to it's, it's the smooth ride you would get normally. The latest in defence really took the skies this week thanks to the Science Museum's Typhoon Force exhibit. While it might not help you fast track your RAF pilot training, it's an exciting insight into what it feels like to fly in a typhoon. Visit the Science Museum's third floor fly zone gallery and try it for yourself. Who knows, it might even prompt a change of career. <laughs>